good morning countrymen and women and good morning those who are watching us from beyond the borders of Zambia. I really don't even know how to start and say this, but let me sum up in this way that I am extremely disappointed, extremely disappointed, hurt, and I feel let down by the statement of the police spokesperson, Madam Katongo, Mwata Katongo. Mwata Katongo, Inspector General of Police Kanganja, and the entire leadership at the Ministry of Home Affairs, I plead and beg with you, st start respecting the people of Zambia. You cannot exist in those offices if there are no people of Zambia, if they are no citizens. And the role of the police, the Minister of Home Affairs, is to guard life and property and not to kill with impunity. I hoped that when the president asked the Minister of Home Affairs or the Inspector General of Police to give a report, what we expected was the ministry through the police to tell us who pulled the trigger and what action was going to be taken against such individuals or such an individual. To my surprise, police have issued a very arrogant and intimidating, threatening statement without regard to the fact that life was lost, without regard to the fact that, to the feeling of the people, relatives of those two deceased colleagues. This is extremely very bad. This is extreme. How surely can police continue justifying the killings? Extrajudicial killings are not allowed anywhere in the world. In fact, extrajudicial killings call for people to be charged for murder and to be taken to court. But here we are, the police who are supposed to be protecting life and property want to continue justifying the killing of innocent people. By the way, a statement of that nature coming from the police where death is involved should be checked by the minister himself and the permanent secretary. I am asking my younger brother, Honorable Campion, the PS doctor, is it Piri? Really, did you read that statement through and authorize it to be published? If indeed you read through that statement and authorized this publishing, then I must say outrightly that we have no leadership at the Minister of Home Affairs. And please, President Edgar Lungu, take action. Under the circumstances with this intimidating, arrogant statement that was issued by Mwata Katongo, surely there must be changes made at the Minister of Home Affairs leadership. We expect Mwata Katongo herself and her boss and those in the public relations department of the police to all resign on moral grounds. Colleagues, you don't dare the people. More especially when life has been lost, it is a time of reflection, being sorry for the action, but for you to continue saying police will not fold arms and see lawlessness. What lawlessness was exhibited there? Tell me. What lawlessness was exhibited there? Those UPND cadres went to give solidarity and they were far away from 
police headquarters, they were actually at the roundabout of the High Court of Zambia. They were not insulting. They had no stones with them. They just sat to wait while their leader was being interrogated. And by the way, PF, Campiongo, and all those in PF, search your souls. Search your souls. Maybe you were not there when we started PF, and that's why you want to destroy this PF with impunity by being careless in the way you act. Ask us who were there from the first day of PF. There's never been a time in the history of PF where Mr. Sata was summoned by the police and you went alone. Never. Go in the history books. There's never been, and I want to repeat, there was never a time that Mr. Sata was summoned by the police, by DEC, or any law enforcement agents, including going to court, that he went alone. He always went with the cadres to give solidarity and support. Nobody was killed. The MMD government then never even bothered about the cadres, never issued threats before the actual date to say, Mr. Sata has been called alone, he should report alone, and anybody who is going to come with him, we shall take maximum force. Never. But why do you want to do it to others? You know, you may think that you are acting intelligently, but you are destroying PF. The statement by Mwata Katongo yesterday, even posted on the smart egos, leaves much to be desired. Colleagues in government, Nampapata, stop destroying PF with your actions. Stop destroying Zambia. Stop destroying the opposition. I can rest assure you, you are destroying yourselves. At the rate at which you are going, the statements that you are issuing, your actions, you are actually destroying that PF. And sooner or later, you regret your actions. When the president said, I want a report, we were all excited and said, yes, now, yes, the president is providing leadership. And what we expected yesterday on news was to tell us that police have finished their investigations. The policeman who, who, who uh, put the trigger has been identified and he has been is going to be charged with murder and the rest will be done at court. But to be met with another arrogant and intimidating statement leaves much to be desired. I beg with you, Your Excellency, the President, Dr. Edgar Chagwalungu, take charge, my brother. Take charge and let these people, your ministers, the police, do the right thing. Otherwise, the buck stops and ends with you, starts and ends with you. This statement by the police must be condemned by all well-meaning Zambians. Offering solidarity to a leader is part of the political dispensation. Why do you as PF, when the president is going out of the country, you send buses in all compounds to go to the airport to see off the, the president? Isn't that political uh, 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 solidarity? When the president is coming to the Copper Belt, the entire executive of the Copper Belt ferry people from all districts on buses to go and receive the president at the airport. That is political solidarity. Why do you want to do it and others not to do it? Not long ago, we saw Ntayali, Ntewewe, with a few, uh, 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 you know, organized students, perceived to be students, which I doubt that they were students, in T-shirts, marching on Independence Avenue, going to State House to present a, a petition. Where was police to stop them? We have seen PF cadres more often than not just go and demonstrate over things, solidarity over things. None of them is shot. None of them is stopped. Why do you want to tell us the rhetoric, Mwataka Tongo and the Kanganja, of the Public Order Act? Do you even know 
the Public Order Act? Do you even understand the Public Order Act? Tell me in the Public Order Act where the, it says police must give permission. Tell me in the Public Order Act where it says police must give permission. Police must be notified. Police must be notified within seven days. But when a leader is called out, say he's called within three days, how can you meet the seven days? People just come peacefully to come and stand where the leader is. I've been through that. I've been through that myself. We've been through that with Mr. Sata. That is why we are wondering whether you people in the PF were really there when we started PF, which you are destroying. Please leave democracy to flourish. Leave democracy to flourish. You are going to leave a very bad legacy as leaders in PF today that you destroyed democracy and all democratic institutions. And for you, Kanganja, you have failed. Even to allow this statement, go and publish it. Minister of Home Affairs, you go and allow that statement. I'm requesting President Edgar Lungu to read that statement. Read. And uh, really think about it. Whether that statement is worth being given, going by your instruction that you needed a report. That, my brother, is not a report. That is an arrogant and intimidating statement to the people. Issued by a person who is unreasonable, who doesn't think, who has no respect for the dead, who has no respect for the rule of law. That's what Mwataka Katongo and Kanganja have done. But with the approval of the Minister of Home Affairs, because I know I was in government, there is no way such a statement, sensitive statement, can be written and be put on, 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 on uh, 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 what is this, uh, smart egos without the authority of the minister. Mwacho and Kampiongo, uli mwacho and tuafuma kumo. Please, think about these issues. Think about the statement. There were ministers of home affairs before. And there will always be ministers of home affairs before. Don't leave a bad legacy. Don't destroy the Kampiongo name. Because if you think too, fear the ama consequences. Everybody will be a Kampiongo. They will just be saying, ah, we shall tumpi the sun. Ah, we shall have tumpi the sun. Mule shami kaba anabienu. Don't look at your present uh, 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 enjoyments or what you are enjoying today, but you must know that there's posterity. In conclusion, let me say that, one, we need a retract. We need, the police need to retract that statement and apologize to the people of Zambia. Secondly, whoever was involved in the crafting and issuing of that statement, approving of that statement, must also resign on moral grounds. When life is lost, we must not look at political affiliation or otherwise. We must look at the law. What does the law say? What are the enjoyments of rights of its citizens? You, you want to be given solidarity. You want others not to be given. And my sister, Mumbi Piri, Mumbi Piri, my sister, please, before you issue certain statements, how can you, my sister, be saying, if people want solidarity, they send But I want to send the people But I want to demonstrate the PF secretary to the Ilo tuwalea basa tangababe ta mumbi. Bana baba sata walea. Tatuwalea iwena ine. Mumbi. Tatuwale fumapa omelo mumba nenu. Tuwa ya kuzambe polisi. Ilo vatu chitetia gas kudeki. Tatuwali bonse. Basa tabase ndiraba na babo. Don't do politics for the sake of people seeing that 
uyu na wale landa. Be reasonable. Elo iwo bo imu mbina ine nifuwa katolika, my friend. We are Catholics. And as Catholics, we are taught to respect life and to be reasonable in our discourse. I'm not saying this with impunity, my friend, but just to advise you that your statement that Vale Sendaba and Ababo was wrong. Political parties are not individualized. NDC te akwa chimba kambui naba naba kwe. And when you call a political leader of a big political party, that's an institution. And there is no way a leader can go all alone. He's got followers. That you must understand. The job of the police was just to keep vigil and make sure that uh, the cadres were calm. Let them sing their political uh, songs. Look at South Africa. I gave you an example last week. Zuma, ex-president, up to now when he goes to court, he goes with a lot of cadres for solidarity. When he's called by the police, he called, have you ever heard where they have been dispersed by live ammunition or even water cannons or anything? Because in, those, in, in that country, they respect the rule of law. Be a Catholic for who you have been. Be a mother. Stop being careless. And I expect that Godfrida Sumaili will condemn this statement by the police. If you are a, a, a woman of God, if truly you are a Christian, condemn this statement by Kanganjandi Mwatakatong. This is not right. This is not right. The Bible says, why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye and leave the plank in your own eye? Jesus himself said, do unto others what you want others to do unto you. It was okay for PF and Mr. Sata to go with uh, people to the police in solidarity. It is okay that when the president is leaving, PF ferries cadres to the airport for solidarity. And if you look at the behavior of cadres when they are going to the airport, it leaves much to be desired. We are quiet about this action. Police are quiet about this behavior of cadres. But innocent person like Nsamansama, politically not inclined, killed by carelessness of police. There is no justification on earth for extrajudicial killings. There is only one killing that is allowed. One must be taken to court. When he's sentenced to death. And by the way, Zambia for the past 20 years has never signed any, any order to execute. Because that is how Zambia has respected life. The other time Dora Celia said, it's better to kill one or two than allow anarchy. People were shot by police during the gassing incidences. Not even one police officer has been indicted. But if you listen to the BBC, you listen to Sky, you listen to uh, uh, CNN, you listen to Sabic, we hear of police officers being indicted for killing somebody and being jailed. Here in Zambia, it has become a norm. It has become normal for police to be killing people, extrajudicial killings. And we think that is correct. The blood of those who have died at the hands of police will haunt you people for the rest of your life. God bless Zambia.